Hey, I'm Jacob Soberoff. Welcome to our series, Investigate Fortitude, where we dive deeper into the science behind the show, Fortitude on Pivot. I'm joined by evolutionary biologist and senior research scientist for EcoHealth Alliance, Dr. Kevin Olival, and Columbia University Earth Institute research scientist, Dr. Bob Newton. A couple of smart dudes. Tonight, we're going to be discussing plague under the ice. Dr. Oliver, Dr. Newton, thank you so much for joining me. I want to watch a clip where Marcus explains to DCI Morton about why you can't die in fortitude. Take a look at this. Uh, shall I tell you something very interesting about this place? Sure. You cannot die here. Or be buried here. Those are the laws. Because anything that is buried never decays. There are bodies in the cemetery that still have plague in them. Plague? Mm-hmm. Wow. What happens to animals that die in the Arctic? Does, does anything decay? It takes a long time for things to decay. It's essentially like dying in your freezer. You know, minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus 10 degrees Celsius. So you might get freezer burn over a long time. You might start to dry out and shrivel up a little bit. Once you're buried, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to decompose for hundreds of years, maybe thousands. When it comes to deadly diseases, when the polar ice, when we talk about polar ice caps melting, um, are we thawing out deadly diseases as well? The possibility is there. I mean, if, as we were talking about, if there's a frozen body under the surface and those viruses can survive for thousands or hundreds of years, absolutely possible that we could be exposed to those viruses. So, a pl like a plague could still be lying dormant in a, in a frozen graveyard somewhere? Sure. Yeah. You guys say that so nonchalantly, like no big deal. <laughs> Is this something that any academic research has, has been done on? Yeah, there are actually a really cool paper. I think one of the most compelling issues of this came up last year. 30,000 year old core of permafrost and they found a virus and they were actually able to resurrect that virus. So what, for instance, is EHA doing to understand, to research um, sort of new emerging infectious diseases? And is this, is this a field that um, needs to continue to expand? Yeah, it's a huge field. I mean, it's becoming more and more critical as we're seeing more and more emerging diseases popping up around the world. What we're trying to do is understand where they're happening, why they're happening, and hopefully when they may happen, right, to try and develop a predictive approach to be able to stop them in the future. And that's the ultimate goal. Thank you so much, guys. You can join the conversation on Twitter about tonight's episode using hashtag Fortitude. And to learn more and to take part in the solutions around all of these issues, go to investigatefortitude.com. We are posting actions, more videos, and articles as well about all these topics. Big thank you to Dr. Oliver and Dr. Newton for joining me tonight. Be sure to watch Fortitude on Pivot with new episodes every Thursday at 10 p.m.